Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 18 of my Subnautica Season 4 Hardcore Mode Let's Play series. So, it's very dark. Very, very, very dark. Uh, our Chinese potatoes have grown, which is awesome. So we've got food. There's no problem with that. What the fuck? Why is that still a thing that can happen? I'm not even cavitating. I fucking bumped a doorway and all of a sudden my Cyclops decided to have a shit fit. And suddenly that's my fault? What is up with that? Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see what's around. Um... Uh... I really need an external light on at least. God damn it. Of course that's gonna put me in fucking... Whatever mode that is. Alright, so... Where the hell did that wreck go? Okay, it's over there. Alright, so which direction are we heading in? This is a westerly kind of direction. And we're in the sea treader path. There's a warper. That's fine. I don't believe they can take you out of your cyclops regardless. You kind of just... Once you're in your cyclops, you're in your cyclops. It's only the sea moth and I believe the prawn suit that they can really fuck you up. So we should be okay, by all accounts. Now we've got this sea treader path down here. Um, they also, I think with every step or something, I got told they, they have basalt. Uh, outcropping things like this that appear behind them. So that could be good for resources, if we wanted to do that. Now if we keep going, does this keep going on the sea treader path? Or does this fall off into the void? No, this is the sea treader path down here as well. I thought so. Is that the sea treaders or a bigger creature that I don't want to see? Morning, I think we're fine. The sea treaders won't attack us or anything. And yeah, okay, it's just the sea treaders. Whoa. I'm up against this rock face. Try not to sneeze. Alright. So, oh yeah, okay, I see, I see. I keep thinking they're angry at me, but they're not. They just make a lot of noise. Why are they so loud? They're creepy as fuck, dude. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. I got, like, my headset cranked for the first time in ages, so... Like, they're very loud. Okay, so what do you drop? Yeah, you do drop basalt behind you with every step. So this could be a really good way to get a bunch of copper ore. What's my sound at? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Holy shit, dude. This is just Copper Haven, man. I better move back, because he might step on me for all I know. And then he'll kill me, and then I'll be pissed. This is a creepy area. You want to walk faster there, bro? I'm trying to get all your copper. And, uh, you're taking a bit of time and I'm getting sick of waiting. Holy shit, dude. The copper is insane. Oh, my God. Look at that. That would take hours to farm. Well, not hours, but it would take a while to farm that from the limestone things. You'd end up with more titanium than copper. But holy crap, dude. This is madness. There we go. Gotta get a nice screeny of these guys. Beautiful. Alright. This is awesome. Really loving this. What is that? Sea treader feces. Um... Oh, shit. 
I don't remember what that is used for at all, if it has a purpose. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems hmm. online. I'm trying to think if that even has a purpose, does it? Nutrient rich manure suitable for accelerating plant growth. Okay. So it does have a purpose, it's just no one ever seems to use it. Oh, there we go. We fucking knew my lights weren't on. Alright, here we go. Alright, so these are the sea treaders. They're pretty awesome creatures. Um, they make me a little bit nervous just because of the sounds they make. Like, they're not going to hurt me unless I guess they step on me, which is probably a thing. I've never tried to see if they can actually kill you. But, sea treader cave light. Alright. Can we, like, get up, please? Thank you. Why is my Cyclops angled like that? What is up with that? It's like permanently stuck leaning forward. That fix itself? So I can actually see with my camera? There we go. Right, this is the warper there. Is there any more wrecks out here to explore as well? We should also put all this copperino and stuff in this uh, chest. The reason we built one was to store all this crap, including feces and lithium. There we go. Now we got a completely clean inventory again. Uh, we actually got water in there that I might need to drink. Awesome. And because we get the Chinese potatoes growing, we're good on food. We're pretty sustainable at the moment. The only thing we got to watch is power draw, which we're completely fine on for now. It draws a lot less power, it seems, than what it used to. Um, I was also looking at a Google Docs document that the devs put out, and it seems like the plan is to make each Cyclops speed use different... Uh, each Cyclops speed has different power draw, which would be good. Means that if you're in silent running mode all the time, you're using less power than if you're at full flank speed. And apparently there's also something where they want to make it so full flank speed um, causes heat, which can then cause your Cyclops to start on fire, which was an interesting concept, I thought. I guess because the engines heat up so much that it just causes them to light on fire or something like that. That was a, a concept idea. Uh, I'm trying to think what else they had in there. There was a few other things. It was a pretty pretty interesting little read. It didn't take me long to read it. I just can't recall everything though. That's the problem. Right, so we already went to that wreck. That's been explored. Okay. Now really... Uh, probably one of the only wrecks we super duper need if we wanted to be fine would be the wreck in the Deep Grand Reef, I believe, is the one that has the drill arm and the grappling arm. And that could be pretty important. Then we can get the prawn suit, and then it's like a matter of just getting all the upgrades for it, which is a bit of a pain in itself, because we have to go into the Lost River, and then we have to go into the, um... Uh, into the inactive lava zone for the rest which is a little bit nerve wracking although last time I did not die so last season I didn't die in there so hopefully that would be the same knowing my luck because hardcore we will die and I'll be pissed Morning, is there anything in this area that will attack this not really, right? I don't believe there's really anything around here. Like, the bone sharks normally spawn, I think, in, like, the crag fields and stuff. I don't think there's any bone sharks in the deep grand reef or anything. So I don't think we have much wo worry about here. We've got a thermal plant fragment. Do we already have that unlocked? I don't believe so. No. We don't. Okay. Okay. 
Alright. There's more sea treaders down there. I just can't believe how much copper we got. Like, I've never done that. In all the seasons of Subnautica I've played and all the hours I put in this game, I've never, like, sat there and picked up the sea treaders stuff that they drop, and fucking hell had I wish I had done that. Holy crap, man. Like, I guess if you could, you could try and make a beeline for the sea treader path, but I guess you've got to have be able to delve somewhat deep. Um... We should probably get some, maybe, some aluminium oxide crystal while we're over this area, maybe. It might save us a trip later. If we get it over here. I mean, we, we don't have another storage locker, unfortunately. Alright, that's a bit sucky, but oh well. We got more aluminium oxide crystal. Invisible sight. Well, that's visible to us, should I say, instead of just sounding like a stupid old. Hmm. Not really. This is like mercury. No, it's quartz. Why did that look so small? That looked really tiny. Strange. All right. Okay, there is a wreck somewhere in this area. I'm almost positive of it. I just don't know the exact spot, but I know it's around here somewhere. That's for damn sure. I guess I just got to be careful that if I start to get attacked by bone sharks, I just have to go into silent running. Damn it. Because we're, yeah, we're in the, just the Grand Reef, not the Deep Grand Reef. Can I fit through this gap? Mm. I know I can. Just. There's a warper there. Fine as long as we're in here. The second we jump out, we're just going to be careful of him. So where is this wreck? It has to be around here somewhere. I know it is. I'm not looking at coordinates, by the way. I don't have anything pulled up for that. I just was familiar with that rock face there. And I thought there was a wreck that spawned in there, but I guess I'm incorrect in that. Because we really would like to get this wreck, in my opinion, because, yeah, we can get the drill arm and stuff from it. And I think we can also get the alien containment from here. Is it this? Is it here? Um, or is this the way down into the Lost River Degassi base part? Yeah, I think it might be. Well, some of them a bitch. I believe that's where this goes, right? Down to the Degassi base and stuff. Yep. That's the Lost River entrance. Don't really want to go there quite now. Do not want to do that right now. Man, I'm super upset. Like, I really thought I would find this wreck with ease. I don't want to look up the coordinates just to find it. I thought my memoirs... My memoirs would actually, you know, help me for once. But apparently not. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. And now I'm not even, like, sure exactly where I am. I thought I had a familiar idea before, and now I have no idea where I am. Hmm. I believe I'm getting closer to Cragfield if I was to take a stab at it. Based on the direction I think we're moving. Which is towards the map edge. got a lot of thermal generators here. A shit ton of thermal generators. Why is there so many? Warning. 
enchanted. Look at them all. Dude, if you wanted to build a base in Deep Grand Reef and sustain off thermal plant power, come here. Come... What is it? Like... F minus 437, minus 321, minus 1296. And you find a shit ton of thermal plants. Or thermal vents. That is the good shit right there, right there. Okay, so at this point, this is like considered Deep Grand Reef, or is it... Okay, still Grand Reef. I have fucking no idea where we are. Honestly. Okay. Well... I'm still not seeing any wrecks. Well, come to think of it, I know, I remember... Okay, we're at the right depth from my memory for the wreck was about 450 meters down or so so we're at the right depth for where the wreck is supposed to be i just don't know the location for the wreck but i know we're at the right depth oh sup dude yeah sick i fucking hate these things he's clipping through the floor he's cheating he's got hacks on you stay away from me you prick don't be rude. Morning, Chanted. We're at the sea treader path again? Asshole. Don't be a dick. He's following me. Wanker. Alright, well, anyway, guys and girls, that's all I got time for in today's episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Subnautica, hit that subscribe button. Check out all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for all the new subs and all the likes and all the comments. And I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.